Once again, Joan is running late for her 9 o'clock dental appointment and has not had a chance to eat breakfast. I'm sorry I'm late for my appointment. That's okay. You must be Joan? Yes. Okay, Joan, if I could go ahead and have you fill this out for me, and Amanda, your hygienist, will be right with you, okay? okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, I think I'm done. Thank you so much, Joan. Let me let Amanda know you're all ready, okay? okay. Thank you. Hi, Amanda. This is Joan. She's all ready to go for you. Okay. Okay, Hi, Joan. Come on in. Welcome back. Thank you. you're a type 2 diabetic, diabetic and you're taking medication. Yes. Does this ever cause dry mouth? Um, I'm not so sure. I guess not so, so sure? Okay, we can go over ways to prevent that during your treatment, okay? Um, do you see a physician regularly? Yes. Yes? Okay. And did you get a, ch a chance to check your blood pressure today? Mm, um, yes. Yes? Was it one of your normal readings? Yeah, around the same range. It was normal? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's good to hear. Um, and did you get a chance to eat breakfast this morning? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it was nutritious? I think so. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Well, we can go over that too later, but as long as you ate breakfast before this. Okay. How many more questions do you have? Oh, we're just about to get ready. Okay. As you can see, while Amanda is asking more and more questions, Joan begins to become irritable. Also, Joan is lying to Amanda, saying that she did eat breakfast and checked her blood sugar, when in actuality she did not, but lied because she wanted to stay for her appointment today. As Amanda begins, she notices Joan is sweating profusely and her skin is cold and clammy. Joan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just probably extremely hungry and dizzy. Okay. Let's see that. up. We might need some sugar in you. At this point, Amanda realizes Joan is hypoglycemic, shock, and that she needs to raise Joan's blood sugar because she has too much insulin and not enough glucose. I'll be right back. She sits Joan up and she runs over to the emergency kit and grabs 20 grams of sugar. Small sips, okay? She starts feeding it to Joan. Good. Take a small bite of that. Okay, keep drinking some of this. I'm going to go ahead and check your blood pressure, okay? Amanda now monitors Joan's vital signs for the next 30 minutes. It has been 15 minutes and Amanda is still monitoring Joan's vital signs.
It has been about 30 minutes and it appears that Joan is feeling better. Her vital signs have returned to normal and Amanda has made sure this whole time that she has not been getting worse. How are you feeling, Joan? Better than better? Earlier. Okay. I'm gonna give you some information. We're gonna talk more about how to keep your blood sugar regulated. This could have been a very dangerous situation, so we wanna make sure it doesn't happen again. We're also not gonna do any treatment today. We're gonna to be scheduled for another day, okay? So in this scenario, the correct procedures were followed. Joan was scheduled in the morning for her appointment. Amanda went over the health history form with Joan and asked additional questions relating to Joan's diabetic condition. Her appointment time was cut in half. Amanda was sensitive to Joan's symptoms and realized right away that Joan was experiencing a hypoglycemic shock. Amanda then followed all the correct protocols to deal with the hypoglycemic shock medical emergency by giving her sugar, maintained her airways, and monitored her vital signs for 30 minutes after the sugar was administered and sent her home with information about glucose levels.